Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It is official. We have a new manager and I'm sure it's no surprise to any of you, it's Antonio Conte. I am delighted with this news. I think he is the right man for the job and it's been announced by the club. I'm glad that we've got it in writing. It's done, it's organised and we have a new manager. He's been announced on a three-year deal, which I think is a good amount of time. You know, it's nice to time to the club so that he can invest and, you know, really get his ideas across to the players. And, you know, he has some very good contacts in football, so I think that we can be slightly optimistic with what players he may bring in. It's nice to welcome another Italian to the club. You know, we have some fantastic memories. In fact, the managers who have given us our greatest ever achievements have been Italian in the past. You know, you look at Antolotti winning the double, you look at Roberto Di Matteo winning the FA Cup and the Champions League. Let's hope Antonio Conte can follow in his, in their, in his compatriots' footsteps. Really pleased, and um, I think the thing that I'm most pleased about is He's going to revolutionise our, our playing system and our squad. He is a man who always opts for two up front, which I think is what we need. You know, it's so uninspiring at Chelsea, isn't it? We've had the same formation. It served us very well, but we've had the same formation for such a long time. And I think teams have worked out how to play against us. You know, when you're lining up at home to Stoke and you've got Mikel and Matic in the starting lineup playing that holding thing, it's so uninspiring and I think those days are over. He's a man who's not afraid to really go for the jugular when we're at home and, you know, he, he's happy to play three at the back, he's happy to play two up front and it's just now going to be very exciting to see what kind of players he brings in. He has a very good relationship with Paul Pogba, a player who would be a welcome addition to, to our squad, of course. Understand that that one, you know, we could be being, uh, could be getting a bit of ahead, ahead of ourselves here because obviously Paul Pogba is going to have his say over what club he goes to. But there is a possibility there. They do have a good relationship. And Conte himself has said that he would like to sign Vidal for whatever club he plays for. So, uh, whatever club he goes to manage. So, with Vidal a possibility, you know, the, the future really is bright and I'm delighted that it's been announced. Let's just see how he does. We'll be keeping an eye on uh, Italy during the uh, European Championships now. And uh, I suppose for the benefit of Chelsea, we'll have to hope they got knocked out quite quickly so that he can get back to playing with Chelsea and thinking uh, only of what goes on at Stamford Bridge. Welcome, Antonio. On your blues. I've been in touch with our dear friends over at Squawker and they have provided me with a full, complete list of all of Antonio Conte's facts and achievements. I'm going to do my best to get through as many of them as possible in 60 seconds. 